Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're working with 3D printed cookie cutters and other difficult cookie cutters as well. Now my kids made me one. This is the name of my book, Baking with Success, my second book. And this is a picture of me. So they made that and sent a way to have this made custom for me. And there are many companies doing it now. They're super hot and really, really cool. So um, I had one made up for my daughter's pussycat. His name is Louie. And we're gonna try it out. And I'm gonna explain some of the tricks and tips that I have found, because they're, they're a little fussy sometimes. And some, some other cookie cutters may be fussy too. So you really need flour, and you really need a flat plate that will actually be the size of your cookie cutter. So you really want to get that cookie cutter right into the flour, really get it in there. I find the edges of a 3D printed cookie cutter, sometimes flour gets drawn into it because it's plastic and it actually has to be cleaned out in between cutting. So I have my little trusty toothpick ready to go. So I have made, Louis is, um, He's this big, fat, beautiful cat. He's got red blotches on him and he's gorgeous. So I am going to make this speckled dough. So I made this beautiful sugar cookie dough and I put some orange dough, which I actually push, pushed in to the plain dough and I'll have the recipe on my website. And what you do is after you've really floured, don't get scared if there's too much flour on there, put it down, all right? Push super hard, keep your hands off of the dough, and just sort of go tiny shimmy shake. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And you want to make sure that the dough comes out. So we're just going to give it a little ba bang, 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 and let it go. And there you have it. If you see any extra flour, just take a pastry brush and brush it off. Hello, Louie. Hello. So we're gonna gently take an offset spatula, put it on a parchment lined sheet pan. All right, let's make another one. Again, if I look, you have to look in between cutting. You can't just cut, cut, cut. If I see any flour getting stuck or dough, get it out and give it a bang, bang to really, really get it uh, to come out so it's clean. All right, give it a little go around in the flour. Don't be skimpy with the flour. All right, and now we're going to put it down again. We're going to push. I'm going to give it a round, round, round. Remember what I did. I came out slowly, and sometimes the cookie will come right out. Sometimes it won't. So let's see. Let me show you one more time. Give it a slight shimmy shake. Slight. All right. And if it doesn't come out, what are you going to do? You're not going to freak out. You're going to take an offset or a or a little butter knife and just go bang, 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 and it should come right out, all right? And you're gonna let it sort of gently, let gravity work, it's coming. I see it coming, there you go. So we're gonna slowly get our Louis out of here. We got a lot of Louis. So there you have it. These bake up super, super quick, and I see a little flour on them, so what do I do? Do I freak out? No! Take our pastry brush, give it a little, because you don't want flour on there, all right? And they go into a 400 degree oven for like eight minutes. Very, very easy. And there you have Louie cookies or any sugar cookie you want with any difficult cookie cutter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you become a subscriber. Till next time.